it's Fred Bretzky again. Here I am in the Aldred building and I'm in the main foyer as you can see here by one of the washrooms but I've augmented and I'm kind of excited about this I've augmented my commercial kitchen I made years ago and now it is in the main center so this is what we teach in fourth year on commercial kitchens we have everything here from an ice machine to a mop sink commercial hot water tank of course our friendly neighborhood plumber with his fluke meter and uh, this is what we learn in commercial kitchens so here pretty we're going to raise this up just a little bit as you can see the piping is under the ground and here would be a combi oven number 64 as you can see right here the temperature and everything on it and it's an indirect connection here we have here we have number 152 all these numbers coincide to the equipment list in their modules this is a tilting kettle with a stainless steel floor pan of course fryers we even put some gas in here wash down ventilation hood and the control panel is way over here number 46 that has an RP in it and then of course our fire extinguishers and all our kitchens uh, and two grease straps one grease strap for the wash down ventilation hood and one grease strap for the food prep sink and as you can see here uh, over on the left we have our hand wash sink this was done according to the 2015 national plumbing code but it also is good for the 2020 national plumbing code and then over here i had a, a food cooler food receptacle but i had to take it out i had to take some things out of this project just so I could augment it because I had to decrease the polygons in it and this would be a food prep or food display sink with an indirect connection underneath I took out the meat cooler so I could decrease the uh, megabytes on this project and finally we have what they call the flight machine which is really a commercial dishwasher here and the pre-rinse sink at the end so we talk about all these appliances and even more and you can see all the venting in the walls I uh, haven't done the water lines on this yet, but I could still do gas lines and water lines and we could make this into a virtual reality project where everything works. So it's pretty cool. It's just the beginning of what we're doing here and I love this because it's a nice big commercial kitchen. I'll probably do this later in the Echo Lab. So that's it for today and till the next lesson.